Oh, hi. Thanks for watching my video. So, let's be honest for a minute. The Sims 4, as fun as it can be, can sometimes get a bit stale if you've been playing for a while. When it comes to engaging gameplay in the Sims franchise, The Sims 4 is the toughest one to remain engaged in. So, the Sims community have created a range of different gameplay challenges that have become really popular over time. You'll probably recognise some of these, and I'm sure some of your favourite Sims YouTubers have a let's play on at least one of them. So, here's a countdown on the top 10 popular challenges in The Sims 4. Number one, surprise, surprise, rags to riches. A very well-known challenge. As the name suggests, you start off as a sim with nothing. Zilch, nada. Living in an empty plot of land with nothing but a dream to build a family home, gain a steady income and get a better life. In the beginning, things are tough. You'll have to get creative when it comes to making money. Collecting things to sell and fishing are always good ways to bring a little money in. Of course, without any objects to use, your sim will have to travel a lot to fulfil their needs. Hit up the gym to use the shower, find a bar to get some food on the go, wander to the local park bench for a night's kip, make the most of the resources around you. The more time you put into making money, for example by fishing, the higher skill level your sim will get and therefore the bigger payout for your catchings. Maybe after some time you'll be able to afford the basics, like a bed, shower, toilet and a grill. Then you don't have to travel as much and can focus more time on making the money. The more money you make, the more you can build and add things to your lot until you're happy with your Sims home. Number 2. The Not So Berry Challenge. A colour themed legacy challenge. You'll play through 10 generations of Sims and each one will have very specific requirements. You start off as mint. Your sim, therefore, should have mint-coloured hair, eyes and clothing and will have the specific traits from the challenge and will follow the science career. In order to move on to the next generation, your mint sim will need to have reached the max level in the mischief skill, max out their career and complete the elements collection. You'll then move on to the next generation, rose. Complete the rose challenges and so on. This challenge is a bit different from the others in my opinion because... The sim you play as will have tasks that are suited to a sim's personality and interest. Makes you feel more like you're playing through very different sims. I'll leave a link to the rules in the description. Then of course, how can we not mention the Black Widow? Turn your humble sim into a millionaire with this challenge. Start off with a sim living on their own. They can live in a house, but you're not allowed to use money cheats, and they're not allowed to get a job of any kind. The only way your sim can make money is through marriage. Have your sim woohoo another, marry them, move them in, bringing their funds with them. Start an affair with another eligible sim, get them lined up, why not? Nothing beats efficient planning. And when you're ready, kill the first spouse. I like to use mods to do this, but you don't have to. It might just take a little bit longer to force death without cheats or mods though. Once that sim has died, pop their grave in the garden and have your sim marry another. Just keep the process going until you've got 10 graves in the garden and a hefty handful of cash. Next up, the Disney Princess Challenge. Who doesn't want a little Disney magic in The Sims? Oh wait, no, fuck that! This challenge is exactly the type of Disney I want in my game. It's my personal favourite challenge on the list and the one that I have done myself although not fully completed. This could be considered a legacy challenge as well because it does involve 10 generations. You'll play as 10 princesses and each has different challenges. Starting off as Snow White, you'll need to get out there, find yourself a prince and have seven children. One of them being a girl called Cinderella. Snow White's challenge is to get her seven children to hit certain requirements. Toddlers should have level three in all skills before aging up and the children need an A grade in school before aging into teens. When Cinderella is a teen, you then start playing as her. She is responsible for all of the cooking and cleaning in the house. And you'll play as her until her daughter Tiana becomes a young adult and at that point you'll be focusing on Tiana's cooking skills and will eventually open and run a restaurant. 
As I mentioned, there are 10 generations to this challenge, so I won't go through every single one of them, but I will link the challenge rules in the description so you can read up on all the generations. And do you know what? I'll also link the first episode of my Disney Princess Challenge in the description and in the top of the screen right now. And of course, you're all expecting it, the 100 Baby Challenge. The concept is simple, the execution is not so easy. The gist of this challenge is that you have to have 100 babies using as few generations as possible. Your first sim is going to be incredibly busy. She has to have as many babies as possible before she comes an elder. Here's the kicker though, you can't have the same baby daddy, different father for each pregnancy. When your first mother sim becomes an elder, the youngest daughter then becomes the next in line to take over the family challenge. If your sim does not have any daughters, you lose. Keep going until you have 100 and hey presto, you completed the challenge. I do not have the patience or attention span to do a challenge like this, but you should do it. Good luck. Another fairly popular let's play idea I've seen buzzing around uh, YouTube is the opposite twins. The concept of playing with opposite twins is very popular among the Sims community. However, there are a few different variations of how Simmers choose to play it. My favourite version is where you have twins, one of them is a gothic bad girl and the other is a sweet girly girl who loves pink and shit. They live with their parents and you can start playing with the twins when they're children if you like. Here's the challenge though, you cannot play as the girly Sim ever. But your mission as the other sister is to make her life so miserable that she doesn't make it to adulthood. I know, bleak, which might be why it's my favourite. I'll leave a link to the challenge in the description, but basically you just have to do everything in your power to ruin your twin sister's life. Read her diary, steal her boyfriend, torment her, decorate her room in a theme she would hate, just go crazy. Ah, oh, let's see, another one. Uh, actually, this one probably should have been put at number one because it's kind of like the foundation for a lot of these, which is just simply the legacy challenge. This one is a bit vanilla for me, but it's a really nice introduction to gameplay challenges. You begin as a fairly humble sim living in a mostly empty lot. Your sim builds themselves a nice life, a bit like rags to riches, but they can have their basics at the beginning. You then play through 10 generations of the same family and see how far you can grow their family tree and build on their lot. It's a pretty simple one, but it's also one of the classics. Simmers have probably been doing this one since The Sims 1. Oh, I know, you guys are begging for another one. Oh, okay. Uh, runaway teen, how about that? This challenge is like rags to riches on steroids. You play as a teen sim who runs away with zero simoleons to your name. You can't go to school, you can't get a job, not at least until you have a basic home. And that means one bedroom, one kitchen and one bathroom. The only way you can make money is by selling things. Kind of like rags to riches. Your sim cannot fulfill any of their needs with adult sims. They can't shower at other homes, nor can they interact as they might be reported as a runaway, see? Your needs will have to be fulfilled in community lots and social interactions can only be fulfilled by interacting with teens and children. You also have to use cheats to subtract 10 simoleons for every time you travel. It's meant to be a tough challenge. The main goal, of course, is to survive. If your sim gets a job as an adult, builds a home and starts a family, then great! But the main focus is survival. Then we have the Asylum Challenge. So. For this challenge, you would need to create a family of sims, giving them all the erratic trait and randomise the other ones. Then move them into a lot, i.e. an asylum, whether it be from the gallery or one of your own creations. The challenge here is to play as a sim and complete their lifetime aspiration in order to prove that they have control over their life. Pretty simple. And lastly, have a save file. Now, this isn't technically gameplay, I know, because you don't have to do this in live mode, but The Sims 4 has some pretty good building tools and a lot of simmers only build in the game, which is okay, it's okay. 
and I want to include you guys. You're part of the family too. Creating a save file is a long labour of love, and when completed I imagine you get quite the sense of achievement. In case you don't know, a save file is where you rebuild every lot in every world. Yeah, it's a big task alright. So, there are 10 popular challenges to try out in The Sims 4. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any that I have listed. Huge thank you to those of you that commented on my community post and let me use clips from your videos for this one. I really appreciate it as it saves me having to try and stage the challenges that I haven't done in my own game. I'd love to know which of these listed are your favourites and let me know if there's a challenge that I've missed on here. I mean, I'm sure there are, but obvious challenges that I've missed, come on. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye